I'm Kevin Yule, Assistant Dean and Director of Student Services. I have been here in my role for just under 10 years. I'm also a Rutgers alumnus, proud and excited to meet you and hope one day you'll join me in that legacy of being Rutgers alumni as well. We like to start off our slide presentation with this word cloud. And what we did over the past three to four years, we reached out to many of our alumni and asked them, just tell us what your current title is. This gives you a glimpse of the breadth of career pathways that many students graduating from our undergraduate programs have gone on to achieve, from director to manager to technical web, uh, to sports agents, to sports writers. So you can see a full breadth of career opportunities await you upon your completion of our undergraduate programs. Our school is made up of three academic departments which actually offer multiple academic programs. And our first department, the Department of Communication, offers an undergrad degree that leads to a Bachelor of Arts in Communication it also has a master's degree, the Master of Communication and Media, and a track within the PhD program. Our Journalism and Media Studies department offers an undergrad degree that leads in a Bachelor of Arts in Journalism and Media Studies. There's a track within the Master of Communication and Media program that we call Digital Journalism that many students who have a background in Journalism and Media Studies begin to explore. Um, and similarly, there is a concentration within the PhD program for those folks interested in media. And last but not least is the Library and Information Science Department, which offers the undergrad degree in Information Technology and Informatics that does lead to a Bachelor of Arts degree. We also have the Master of Information degree that's offered through the Library and Information Science Department. And last but not least, the PhD program has itself a concentration in information studies. We also have two undergraduate interdisciplinary minors, the minor in digital communication, information, and media, which essentially is an intersection of each of our undergraduate majors. You'll see that in the title. And we have a minor in gender and media, and we have a slide later on that's going to tell a little bit more about both of those minors. So now we'll talk a little bit about the three undergraduate majors. And we have one slide for each of these majors, give a broad overview of what the structure of the major looks like, as well as what are some of those opportunities um, within each of those majors. The first is our communication major, which is a 36 credit major. It's made up of seven core courses and five elective courses. and. It's a very broad major that gives you, a, again, a breadth of theory, but also a, 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 an opportunity to develop some practical skills as well. The goal is helping our students understand the fundamental communication perspectives, theories, and concepts, as well as applying those communication theories and concepts to analyze human behavior. So there's a lot of practical um, and intellectual engagement um, that's going to be really, really important skills um, in the face of our contemporary challenges. There are four specializations, so those students who already know that they want to focus particularly within a field or subdivision of communication have the opportunity to explore these, uh, these specializations. Then they list as strategic public communication and public relations, relationship and family communication, leadership in organizations and communities, and health and wellness. And for our students who are transfers, please be advised that no more than three courses or nine credits can be transferred into the communication major. Our next major is the Journalism and Media Studies major. Um, that is also made up of 33 credits with two core courses, one foundational course, and eight elective courses. We structure the Journalism and Media Studies major based on what students' career pathways have been and what they see and what the market has seems to have demanded. So we have a pathway in journalism and emerging media, a pathway in media and society, as well as a pathway in creative media practice. And we do currently offer two specializations. 
So again, students who are interested in journalism and media studies, but have a specific interest in sports journalism or global journalism and media can opt to take these specializations as part of that uh, journalism and media studies major. In terms of transferred courses, no more than two courses or the equivalent of six credits can be transferred into the journalism and media studies major. And last but not least is the information technology and informatics major, which is a 39 credit major made up of four core courses and seven elective courses. Uh, we offer a specialization in game production and innovation. It's not the same as of video gaming, which we understand some of our competitive institutions have develop, developed. Um, it really is a lot more theoretical, helping our students understand the nature of game theory. Because we strongly believe the more you understand programming and game theory, the more flexible you'll be in being able to develop you know, advanced video games. And so we take a broader approach to developing something that will actually uh, allow our students to evolve as the industry evolves. And the ITI major really helps our students develop an understanding of the social, economic, and organizational impacts of technology on local, national, and global news, among a few of the other goals that we have listed on the slide. Uh, for our transfer students, no more than eight credits or the equivalent of two courses can transfer into the ITI major. In order to apply to one of our undergraduate majors, students must meet a set of preconditions first. And the first of those preconditions is that they must have completed at least 15 credits at Rutgers. For transfer students, they have to have transferred at least 15 credits toward their Rutgers degree. They must be in good academic standing, which by Rutgers University standards means they must have at least a 2.0 cumulative GPA or higher. Some of our programs may be a little more competitive, um, but at minimum to apply, a student must be in good academic standing with a GPA of 2.0 or higher. We also have two prerequisite um, criteria. One of those is that students must have completed the Rutgers University uh, a college level writing course defined as expository writing or an equivalent for those transfer students. In some cases, they may be students who get the equivalent of that through advanced placement and that's okay as well. More importantly, they have to have completed the introductory course with the grade of C or better. So if a student is interested in pursuing communication as a major, they have to take and complete with the grade of C or better the intro to communication course before they're eligible to apply to the major. Again, the key is they have to complete the course, earn the grade of C or better before they apply. For journalism and media studies, the course is intro to media. And for ITI, the course is Information Technology and Informatics. And we do have application cycles throughout the year. Students, once they arrive on campus, will get information about when those specific dates exist, both in the Daily Targum, which is our university newspaper, as well as through various listservs and, and university announcements. As I mentioned in the earlier slides, we do have two undergraduate minors that students can pursue the Digital Communication, Information, and Media minor, and the Gender and Media minor. And uh, I didn't say this in the previous slides, but um, students can major in minor within the School of Communication and Information. In fact, a number of students who pursue majors in communication, journalism, or ITI do choose to also minor within our school. Our first minor, Digital Communication, Information, and Media, is an 18 credit minor, which is essentially six courses. But the unique thing about the DCIM minor is that each of the six courses is offered in a hybrid format, which means it meets once a week in person and once a week online. Um, and the, the sort of beauty of that is it really gives our students the understanding of, of what the current marketplace, it's really practical, it's a lot of project-oriented assignments, but it helps our students prepare very well for life after their undergraduate degree. As you think of professional settings, there's a lot more project-oriented spaces, there's a lot more representation of digital and virtual scenarios and projects, and so the DCIM minor is a very practical, uh, focused, skill-based program that actually draws from each of the elements of our majors, 
hence the title digital communication, information as in ITI, and media as in journalism and media studies. Our gender and media minor is also an 18 credit minor, but this minor is unique in that it really represents the wonderful collaboration between our school and specifically the journalism and media studies department and the Department of Women and Gender Studies. Recognizing the outstanding influence um, of women to the field of media, uh, as well as not just the influence, but how women are influenced by and influenced in the media um, has really helped students understand the importance of establishing a very critical lens when it comes to understanding, um, again, our social and political environment. So the 18 credit gender and media minor is a wonderful opportunity for our students. We have a, a great number of our students who uh, go on to uh, even advance studies within women's and gender studies um, at the graduate level as a result of their experience in the gender and media minor. For more information, we encourage you to follow the Rutgers gender and media uh, uh, hashtag, I'm sorry, handle both on Facebook as well as Twitter as well as the DCIM, Rutgers DCIM uh, uh, handle on Facebook as well as Twitter. This slide here gives a brief introduction to the members of the SCNI Student Services team. Um, and these are those group of dedicated professional staff members whose purpose and function is to provide academic assistance, advising, and support for all of our undergrad students. Uh, starting to my right is uh, Mrs. Andrea Sacco, our administrative assistant. Beneath Andrea is Susan Raitman, our undergrad student counselor. And to Susan's left is uh, assistant dean for undergrad student services, Megan Enstrup. And from this point, I'm actually going to turn the remainder of this presentation over to Dean Enstrup, who's going to talk more about the services and function of the Office of Student Services, and she's going to conclude her remarks with some recommendations on um, courses that you can enroll in um, in your first semester here at Rutgers. Thank you, and now over to you, Dean Enstrup. Thank you, Dean Ewell. Sky is more than just the academic programs it offers. The staff of our Student Services Office is here to support you along your journey. Sky Student Services involves four pillars to support our students. Academic advising, student support and referral, student life and student organizations, as well as career support. Our first pillar is academic advising. In our office, we advise, you decide. Our assistant deans and student counselors work with students for program advising, academic planning, graduation tracking, and more. We assist students with course recommendations to match their academic interest, and we encourage our students to focus on major and minor courses that relate to their future career goals. Our main goal is to assist students with their academic, personal, and social success. When you enter our, enter our office, we want you to feel welcomed, valued, and heard. We are here to help. We are your allies in this process. While you remain affiliated with your degree-granting school, you will meet with our office for advising as it pertains to your specific major. If you select to pursue one of our Sky minors, you're going to meet with us for that too, and continue to meet with your degree granting school for your general education courses and or any programs that are outside of the School of Communication and Information and for your overall graduation requirements. Student support and referral is our second pillar. We understand that everyone's college experience is, dif is different and some students may need guidance on who to talk with and how to handle challenging situations. We want you to feel welcome and comfortable coming to our office and sharing what is going on in your life as we want to be here to help you. We are well equipped to connect students with appropriate resources around campus, such as CAPS, Veteran Affairs, Office of Disability Services, Rutgers Student Food Pantry, and the Center for Social Justice and LGBT Community, to name just a few. Our third pillar is student life and student organizations. We want your Rutgers University experience to be meaningful and memorable. There are so many opportunities for students to get involved with clubs, activities, and organizations on campus that are interesting and beneficial as you prepare to move into your career. You get to choose your college experience and we encourage you to step out of your comfort zone in and outside of the classroom. Meet new people, network, and gain wonderful experiences during your time here. The School of Communication Information has a wonderful community and we want you to feel connected to that community and a great way to feel connected is by getting involved. 
There are excellent resources on our website and the Rutgers Student Life website where you can find those connections. We want you to enjoy your time here and have fun while you're doing it. Career support is our fourth pillar. We want you to know why Sky feels it's important to have this service for our students and honestly the answer is simple. The transferability of your skills matters and at Sky we are teaching you the exact skills that employers are looking for. Connect with us because internship, other professional experience, and networking are all vital to securing a post-graduation job. Our Assistant Director for Careers at Sky creates and runs various programming throughout the year to help you in each of these areas. Check out our website and the University's Office of Career Exploration and Success for all their office has to offer you too. Remember, you can be focused on building your career preparedness each year while you're at Rutgers. Make sure to attend our events throughout the year. All first-year students are encouraged to consider taking advantage of a first-year interest group or FIGS course to further explore an area of academic interest. We also encourage you to consider a BURN seminar, which is a way for you to learn about a topic of interest taught by one of our renowned research faculty. It is rare for first-year students to get such close exposure to such a topic and to our research faculty. FIGS are only available in the fall of your first year and BURNs are only available to first-year students in fall and spring. Living learning communities are ways for you to connect with other students who share similar interests as you. You only get your first year to take advantage of these amazing co-curricular opportunities. You will learn more about these opportunities through information provided by the School of Arts and Sciences. Now let's think about your first semester schedule. If you are considering a major in communication, journalism and media studies, or IT and informatics, and or one of our minors. Each first year student is required to enroll in expository writing. Beyond that, we suggest you take the introductory course for the major you are interested in. For example, for communication, you would look for Introduction to Communication and Information Processes, for Journalism and Media Studies, Introduction to Media, and for Information Technology and Informatics, the course is the same name as the major, Information Technology and Informatics. Pick a course for a minor you are interested in. If that is Digital Communication, Information and Media with our school, pick Structure of Information or Virtual Team Dynamics. If you are interested in our gender and media minor, perhaps start with writing for media or consumer media culture. Be sure to pick up a course that helps you move forward with the SAS General Education Core and take advantage of a first year interest group and a burn seminar. Remember, figs and burns are only available to you as first year students. As we bring this presentation to a close, I just want to, to say congratulations once again to each and every one of you. This last slide shows how you can get in touch with us. Uh, you can contact us at 848-932-7550 or send us an email. As you are aware, we are still operating remotely, but we do check our email and phones and we'll be sure to return any inquiries, any calls, any emails as, as early as we can. So continue to stay healthy and safe and we look forward to seeing you in September. Have a great day.